Hello everyone, glad to have you with me, CK Too Much here back yet again with Shah Kareen, the Iron Heart of the Karen Godom. And before we get started, guys, please remember to like and subscribe. Your support really helps me to keep going. And if you'd like to help support me in any other ways, I have recently started a Patreon at the request of some of my users, and not users, viewers. Uh, so if you want, you can check that out in the description box below, or you can see it at my channel. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. So in the last episode, um, we kind of did some cleansing, uh, a little bit of a cleaning of the Armenians here. So we kicked out all of the Armenian counts and dukes and priests. Uh, we only left the barons, basically. And uh, I have given these titles over to some distant relatives of mine. Uh, we also decided uh, to join the new Shah of Dailam, who just inherited it from Aisha, who was my uncle and one of my chief rivals. Um, but we've decided to join them in this war to take back the Dushi of Azerbaijan, which used to be held by uh, someone very close to our family. If you guys have been watching this series from the beginning, you probably remember him, Borzig, Borzig, Bozerg, the lion. He was the first warrior who came to us, or the first great one. He had like, when he was alive, he had like 36 something Marshall, 30, 30 plus Marshall. Uh, and he was instrumental to us conquering uh, the Caspian Sea, basically. So we have to take it back. Uh, so we just had a dramatic victory here at uh, Shermaha. And as I was saying in the last episode, I'm thinking of this war where we march north to help out our Zoroastrian brothers, even though he probably doesn't like me because I killed his brother. Yeah. <laughs> I killed his brother in a duel. Um, ah, okay. So I've inherited Jilfar from someone. Uh, where is this? Ah, it's down here. Okay, so I will give this over to... Um, hmm. I guess... Yeah, I'll give it over to Rahola. He's a better commander. I kind of want to consolidate this area under one commander. All right, nice. Uh, and let me check out what my council's doing. Ooh, I need a spy master so I don't get assassinated. The trick is finding one who likes me. Okay, Kavad will do. I also need a marshal. Preferably someone who's not commanding at the moment. Uh, I suppose... Oh, you know what? I'll give it to this guy. Maybe I can put him into battle. And let's also go ahead and do some conversion. Got to get my MOBODs on that. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, get this done. All right, and my daily routine involves swinging my blade. You know, uh, I can probably give up this war focus since I don't have any legs. And I think I might focus on something else. But what else should I focus on? I don't really know. I'm part of this satanic cult. So I feel like maybe I should do that. But I honestly don't know what else to focus on. Well, I guess my guy's a warrior. So my guy's also a little insane. So even though he's missing a leg, a hand, an arm, jaw, um, he might want to still train. <laughs> From a chair. Or maybe he has a peg leg, I don't know. Alright, so we just have to wait for this, uh, for these to siege down, and then um, I think maybe we'll win a couple more battles, but probably the war score will tick away in our favor. Ooh, we get a lot of money from that when that guy died. Okay, yeah, the camel riding grounds are still being built. Uh, maybe we can build something in Kermansha. Maybe some more stables. Uh, 
I suppose I could build some more stuff in gray as well. Uh, I could spend money on a keep, but I'm kind of worried about spending that because I might need mercenary. So I'm not going to do that. Uh-oh. Here we go. The return of the demon hunter. So I still have nightmares about the mysterious demon hunter I once encountered. These days, while I haven't been covering my tracks with the stench of my foul deeds <laughs> very well, yeah, no, I haven't, staring at the ceiling in my room, the moonlight suddenly goes out, leaning over me as a man, weapons raised, we meet again. Hmm, all right, well, what would I do in this situation? I think that my guy is rough and aggressive, and this has always helped him in the past. He always charges in the face of danger. So we could try to fight him. I don't think I would give him gold. And I also don't think I would give my guy up. Although I am deceitful. Hmm. It's like 50-50. Maybe I could do that. But I really think that he would try this. In this case, though, it's a 50% chance I'll die, 30% chance I'll be badly injured. I really think he would do this. So yeah, I will fight you. All right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So Shah Kareen has ascended to heaven. He was slain in personal combat. Born under unfortunate circumstances, Kareen was often derided for his twisted back. Oh, that didn't happen till later in life. His soul has finally been freed from his deformed body. Shah, uh, Shah Shahruz, having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. So be it. Wow. All right. Uh, so we've also lost some territories because they were nomadic. Uh, that was to be... Expected. Well, all right. So finally, at long last, we have been reunited. Um, am I able to recreate the empire? I'm just short of it. Okay. I am just short of it. That's too bad. All right. Well... Maybe was Azerbaijan part of it? Yes, yeah, so maybe if I can get Azerbaijan back, uh, I can do this. Yeah, maybe if I can get Azerbaijan back, I will have enough men uh, to do this. But okay, wow. So I think I need... Okay, and Georgia has decided to come back under me, so that's a, uh, that's a good move from them. So mainly what we lost was uh, up here, basically. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna maybe make Persia my main title. Will that have any effect on, on anything? No, okay. Yeah, just because I kind of prefer the color, and also it's Persia. You know, more unifying, I think, than, than Dailam. All right, so I, I kind of need a minute to reflect on what has happened, though. So, yeah, so I mean, Shah Kareen, um, if I can pull him up for a minute... Yeah, let me go over to the French Adam history. So Shah Karin really was in a league of his own, very similar to Vandad. So if you guys remember Vandad, back in the days when we were just in the kingdom of Dailam, he inherited when we were at war with like five different people. Uh, and at the time, the Khazars were actually the kings of Dailam. And we helped our king defeat all of our enemies, and then we took the throne for ourselves. And then he went on to create the kingdom of Persia. He outwitted all of the surrounding powers. 
And then when he died, we had another kind of similar situation. And Mosafar and Arang were both weak rulers who could not uh, defend our borders, could not reunite Dailam and Karen. And then Karin came along, had a couple of miraculous upset victories against the Abbasids, and then he was able to just keep expanding until he died. And I think that, um, you know, he, he became a eunuch, which allowed us to keep the bloodlines united. He lost his, his balls in battle. Or no, he lost his balls to cancer, I suppose. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so now here we are with Shah Sharuz, and it's kind of an interesting legacy uh, that Kareen has left behind, because I think that, uh, you know, he was kind of a bad guy, especially in the, like, the last 10 years of his life. He joined that satanic cult, and he was ultimately killed by a demon slayer. So. But yeah, he's definitely left quite the legacy. I, I will not forget him. <laughs> he's been uh, very important in our journey. And it's very possible that Shah Shahruz is going to be the Sai of Shant. Uh, he will be the one to restore Persia. Um, I don't like this marriage. Uh, I don't know what happened to my wife. Although I suppose it's a decent alliance. So maybe we can keep it. Um... We will see. Okay, I need a new spy master. Or I need to make this guy like me. Although this guy already likes me. Why does he like me so much? Opinion of predecessor. Okay, he's possessed by a demon, but he likes me a lot and he has decent intrigue. So I guess we can uh, put him in that position. Uh, okay, and I need a better Iran Spabad, I think, as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Vistab Ishtasp in there. And I want him on the battlefield, since he's pretty much our best commander. Um, and I think he's okay with this position. Are there any advisor positions that are open? No. Okay, uh, but let's see how the factions shake out. Ah, no, okay, Georgia didn't decide. That was weird. I could have sworn a second ago that they were there. All right, I should be able to get Georgia back, though. But at the end of the day, it's not really a big deal. Um, obviously, it's something I'd like to have again, but... Uh, ah, great, so he's joined that defensive pact against us. That's great. Although it's also possible that um, I might not have any children since my guy is not really into women. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, and my wife has the pox. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So it's possible that I won't really have an heir. That Rostam will be the heir. And he's married matrilineally to... A distant relative of mine. Ah, yeah, yeah. From the from the Pamiri Mountains, yeah? Okay. Uh, okay, so it looks like, yeah, our soldiers are gonna experience some defeat here. Go ahead and assault this. Uh, go ahead and stop. How about you take the long way? All right. Oh, okay. Um, so it looks like Dailam is my new capital. Yeah, we... Oh, do I... I hope I hold Baghdad. Yes, okay. That's not Baghdad, but... All right, so we'll have to move our men down there later. Um, let me just take this, and I'll send those guys down there to deal with those peasants. Uh, okay, we've converted someone. That's great. All right, and one more. All right, we're at 36. That's pretty good, actually. 
Uh, okay. So I'll send them down there to deal with the peasants, and then we'll swing back up and maybe finish them off. All right. How are the uh, factions shaken out? Okay. No, okay. Nothing. Nothing too crazy at the moment. And I am leading the troops in battle myself, I suppose. So that's fine. Uh, our religious strength is pretty good. 65 moral authority. I need a physician. Interesting. We have a lot of uh, sexual courtiers. Do we have any renowned physicians? I think I'll give it to Tugrel, even though he's left-handed. And we need a Shaheen. I will give that to Vishtasp. And we need a Shah Rawaz. This is someone who is uh, epitome of victory. Ooh, Vishtasp, Vistash, Vishtasp would have been good for that too. But okay, that's fine. No, uh, hold on a second. Man, I wish I could get these guys here. And just like, I want them to go somewhere while avoiding the enemy. Ah, okay. Our guys are stuck here for now. We'll just have you guys wait. But we're in a pretty good position. Um, their men are kind of all over the place. I think we'll be able to take all this territory before they can get them together. Uh, and then we might be able to just call it a day. Ooh, okay. So the Tang army is going to be moving into some count in our neighborhood, I guess. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys, my kitty cat. Acting a little crazy. Okay, let's go put down this peasant revolt. Oh, okay. Don't know who this is. Ziadid Emirate. Okay, I don't know where he's from. Don't know where he's going. Looks like he's coming with them. Yeah, there's a couple of different armies around here. Okay. So you 300. Um, go ahead and go there. All right, now you guys should be able to go through Ani to Lori to Azerbaijan. Or to wherever. Alright, so yeah, this is Shasharu, so this must be pretty surreal for him. Uh oh, Zarin Duck loves keeping things in order. Yeah, I can guide her in the right direction. Uh I don't want her to I don't know who this is. One of my random courtiers, I guess. Um I don't want to risk my mental health for some random courtier. Okay, so we've taken Baku. That's good. We're just waiting for this defeat against the peasants. Looks like there's some big civil war going on, too, between some of my vassals. Uh, all right. So this peasant revolt has been taken care of. That's wonderful. So we can go ahead and put him out of his misery. All right, and he was he was simply hung. Nothing, nothing too fancy here. All right, so let's go ahead and march our march not march march our guys up to Azerbaijan itself. Uh, and then I don't know what their armies are doing, man. They're just like all over the place. I think we have enough men to, you know, to pull this off. And we're already at 50 yet. I think once we take every, like, piece of territory within Azerbaijan, I think we'll pretty much be good. <clears throat> and I guess I'll try to get this 700 here to just go straight to Azerbaijan.
Okay, go ahead and hover over you, and uh, let's just assault two. Two fortification isn't too tricky. Ah, great. How big is it? We got a mm, pretty decent sized Sunni revolt. Here, where was it exactly? It didn't catch that. Okay, so it's down down in the Gulf. Okay, well we can take care of that. Not really a big problem. Go ahead and send you guys up north. All right, so we're at 66%. That's pretty good. Uh, and you as well. Go ahead and march your booties over to Azerbaijan. Then I might just split them up and siege out those territories, but we will see. I don't know where they're going. They keep dancing around. Very weird. I think they're like, they're, they they want to go here, then they want to, oh no, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go here. And they can't really decide where to go. And what's, yep, yep, just what I thought. Holy War for Tau. So they're going to lose some territories. Hopefully it won't be too bad before we can press our claim. Uh, okay. And, uh, I guess we could assault them. Oh, my concubine has pregnant Burundocht. Didn't know that I had concubines. Oh, interesting. This is my dad's concubine. Yikes. Okay, so my brother is also going to have a brother. That is my son. <laughs> so that's kind of creepy. Uh, okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and march this army down there. Ah, but they're on their way to Swinik. Is there a river crossing between other? No, there isn't. What time could we get there? I'm curious. You would get there on the 7th. And you would get there on the 13th. Okay. Hmm. Might be a bad move, actually. All right, they're locked in. Okay, should we do it? Should we do it? Maybe we can do it, but okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this dusp in charge. Uh, along with, uh, we have someone who's good on the flanks. You know, these aren't the best commanders, to be honest. Uh, let me let me shop around for a second, see if I can get some better ones. I have a feeling that I can. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh whoa 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 whoa. Okay, a lot of bouncing going on here. Uh, yeah, Farazid, definitely want you there. Okay. I think I'll get rid of Zia. And I will replace him for Faraz. Uh, and I think I'm going to put Anushirvan... I'm going to replace Anushirvan as well. Sorry, guys, this mouse. Uh, okay. I could lead them myself, but I think... No, I'll put in Jamshid because he's a cavalry expert, and this side has most cavalry. Is this a bad decision? They are going to have 13,000 men in the mountain. Is there a river crossing between here and there? Uh, maybe we can pull it off. Okay, let's give it a try. He'll probably at least do white peace if we fail. 
but I think we can pull it off. If attrition doesn't get us too hard. Oh no, our small army started first. Okay, I guess I should have expected that. All right, here come the bigger, or here come the reinforcements, I guess. All right, we should still have the number advantage. Our commanders are better. I was hoping we would be able to soften up their morale more before, though. All right, we'll get another 500 men in as the battle goes. I don't know if that'll make a big difference or not. Maybe I should get some mercenaries and send them in. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty even right now. Okay, their right flank is failing fast. All right, looks like our cavalry guy was able to take them out on their right flank. All right, so that means that their center and left should be effed. All right, yeah, once that right, yep, right flank has collapsed, the center is falling fast. Okay, oof. They pulled it off. That was a little risky. That was a little risky, but glad that we did it. And we got a couple more reinforcements coming in. Okay, I wonder how much war score... Oh, Siege of Basra. Ah, that's the Sunni Revolt. Okay. I wonder how much war score that will give us. Alright, yeah, now their left has just also completely collapsed. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so we've gotten 77% now. That's pretty good. We also got a new prisoner. I think I can go ahead and... Oh, maybe I could ransom him. Although maybe I would just execute him. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, maybe... I will go ahead and uh, unify these guys, and then split them in equal halves, and siege out the remaining. Excuse me, siege out the remaining territory. Ooh. Okay, so we got some powerful factions forming. That's not good. What are the main factions? We have a couple for independence, but. They're mostly gavel kind, so that's not a huge threat. Obviously, I wouldn't like that if, you know, if I died, the Empire would be split. But if I can form the Empire, then it won't matter. Because right now I have, you know, a bunch of kingdom titles. It must have been weird for Sharuz to inherit, you know, five kingdoms from someone who killed his brother. Who was also, like, you know, known as, like, a terrible person. All right, so I think by springtime, war will be over. Oh, what's this? Uh, all right, so he wants to marry my his son to my niece. Ah, uh, who are you? I don't know. Uh, I I don't think so. You don't really bring anything to the table here. Um, also, she definitely needs some kind of education, hmm? Who is, who is this? Asda, ah, my half-brother, okay. Um, yeah, I would prefer something more like this. Yeah, someone who can bring maybe a couple thousand men to the table. Uh, but this this one, this could also be a good match. He's about to be our future vessel. Oh, that's crazy that he's held on so long. So there, yeah, okay. So I think I'll give the title of Azerbaijan to him, possibly, or maybe to him. What happened to the descendants of uh, the Boris, the Bozorgs? Like, are there any living descendants left? I would love to return it to them. Uh, yeah, I mean, they must have some living descendants, right? No! Oh my god, no living members. 
That's a shame. Who was the last one? Okay, looks like Aisha died. Yeah, wow, okay. That is depressing. Not enough sons, yeah. Okay, man, everyone wants to marry this girl, huh? Just goes to show. Everyone wants to be in good with the, the Karen dynasty. Never seen so much the AI freak out so much over like marrying my niece. <laughs> uh Okay, Javid. Ah, I think the Javid was an old, old commander that we had. He did not turn out too well, did he? Oh, I can get him married. Okay, well, I should probably go deal with this revolt down here, but I kind of don't want to... Alright, you know what? Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I'll go ahead and do uh, an assault. Maybe for Swinik. There's only 800 men here as opposed to the 1,700 up there. Uh, okay, so we'll go from 77 to maybe 85, or what? Okay, yeah, oh, I called it, yeah. Alright, so I'll send them up here. An impressive woman has arrived. Uh, she wants to do a trade agreement with the local merchants. Perhaps she can make an offer. Hmm. No, I don't think I will... Do this because I don't want to upset my vassals, so sorry. But I'm sure she would have been a perfectly good stewardess or steward, whatever you want to. Okay, so I will march my guys in here and I'm just gonna assault as soon as they arrive. Yeah, because I want to finish this war and go deal with those Sunni rebels ASAP. Uh, okay, we're at 92. I'm also going to assault this one. Okay, and we are at 100 possibly? Yes, all right. So what a great way to start uh, our new with our new ruler. Oh, uh, so go ahead and let's make peace. Offer peace. All right, and he will accept. Uh, but the Abbasids still get to keep territories here, which is kind of stupid, but I'll go ahead and hand out these territories. Some random vassals. Ah, someone was building a temple town. Yes, create a vassal. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. Yep, all right, well, I guess I will go ahead and give you, good sir, this, uh, new title. Satrapy of... Ah, do I have to make it? Emirate of Azerbaijan. Okay, so I'll go ahead and usurp that from him. Nice. Uh, and I will hand that over to you. Ooh, wait, your heir is the Caliph. Okay, don't like that. Why is your heir the Caliph? Doesn't make any sense to me. I should be your heir. Why would your heir be the Caliph? Okay, that's just bizarre. Okay, so then I'll give it to him instead. <laughs> Uh, aha. Uh -huh. Or I could maybe give it to someone else. You know, maybe I should give it to my half brother. I feel kind of bad for him. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give him uh, the. Atrapi of Azerbaijan. Okay. 
with all of the titles that come with it. Okay, so Satrapy of Azerbaijan. Perfect. Uh, okay, and let's go march down south, take out those rebels, and then maybe I'll take a look at Georgia next. Okay. And you know what? I am going to join this fight, or join in the command, and relocate the capital to Baghdad. Will I have enough now to make the Persian Empire, or am I still short? Ah, uh, okay. I still need a couple of provinces. What is 80% of 90? 90 times 0.8. I need four more provinces. Okay. Well, getting Georgia would help, obviously. Uh, at least up here. And declaring war on these guys down here would help, too. <clears throat> How is uh, their war going? They're still... At, okay, they're still at war with the Pretty Harans. Uh... And they are winning. Also, he's in a couple of wars, so this might be a good opportunity to attack him, actually. All right, so I think that might be what we do. Yeah. It'll put us quite a bit closer, but where else do I need to go? I mean, probably, I guess most, most of the territory left is here. Yeah, here, here, here. Uh... So I could do the rest of Sistan, I guess. How many provinces are missing? Maybe the Horasan would be the most. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. So I think I will do a great... Oh, maybe I can't do a great conquest, but maybe I can do a holy war for... Ah, okay. That is a little infuriating. The provinces are distributed in such a way. Hmm. This is a holy site, but this could give us three territories. Well, I'll look around at that. I, st I still have time. Uh, I'm only 43 years old. So I still have time to declare the empire. Oh, look at that. I have a son. Human. No, Humayun. I don't know if I like that name. I think he will be Vandad. All right, and we will have him train with Ishtasp himself. If he's available. Yes. And he's only 47, so he could possibly educate him for his whole life. All right, all I got to do is choose a new name. Name him Aisha, that could be a good name. Apparently, he was a good ruler. Barak, Morteza, Ushiar, Rasht. The Rasht would be a good name. I think he will be. He will be Vandad. Vandad has been a good name. First Vandad. A badass, the second Vandad was badass, and the third Vandad will be a badass. Okay, another revolt. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm gonna go deal with this one so close though, but I think I should deal with this one because it has the most momentum. Okay, well, I guess I'm happy that we're fully reunited. Um, what exactly do I need to be the Sayosh, the Sayoshant, or however you pronounce it? So I need, uh -huh, I need a lot more territory, and I need a lot of piety. Oh, so not only do I need Persia, but I also basically need, like, all of the territory up here. Because it says that I need, like, Merv, and uh, Kiva as well. And Herat, uh-huh. 
thought I saw Kiva. Yeah, Kiva. Interesting. So I basically do need the kingdom of Trinthaxiana. I did not know that. Uh, well, I should be able to pick that up pretty easily, too. Last of the Sunni Persians up there. Greater. Okay, and let's get our... Yeah, Mobad still converting people. Oh, you're converting people in Lori. How about you convert people uh, in Alamra instead? <clears throat> oh, interesting. So the Armenian uh, satrap is going to try to take care of them. Interesting. <coughs> All right. Let's go put down this revolt, and we'll march up there and put down that other one. You prob okay? Oh, that could be a good match. But she's fifteen, bro. You have a younger daughter. How about this one? How about Elnaz, or maybe Gazal. Oh, yes, this one. She's attractive. We will marry. Yeah, we can marry my son to you. You're pretty distantly related, yeah. Yeah, he's quite powerful, yeah? Like 5,000 men? Yeah, okay, we can accept that. No, 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 no! Okay, whew. All right. Okay, hopefully I didn't F that up. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing for a second. Uh, okay, so he has accepted to Ghazal. Okay. So oh, he'll have some attractive babies. Okay, so it could be... Bandad, or it could be me who becomes the Sarushant. We'll have to see. I think the piety could be an issue. But we'll get some piety for putting this down, so that's good. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to let this video go a little bit longer because I'm also going to go take care of this army real quick because I also want to move my capital uh, back to Baghdad and away from uh, Gilan. Okay, so let's go march up there and then we'll call this episode here. Well, if any of you are still listening at this point, thank you guys so much for watching. I've told you guys a couple times that this has been my favorite series that I have played on camera, off camera, anywhere. Like, this is an achievement that I've always wanted to do because I've always been really interested in Persia and Zoroastrianism. But it was just always so hard to f find out, like, how do you defeat the Caliphate? How do you defeat all these strong uh, Muslim powers nearby? But... Somehow, I miraculously did it. Uh, oh, Ormuz has become a mas master theologian. Good for you, buddy. All right. <clears throat> I'll have to find you a nice wife. Hmm? <coughs> um, he's a little old for you. Maybe to this one. Yeah, she's only nine, uh, only fifteen, so just a year younger than you. Okay, my guys are still marching north. Um, all right, stuff still being built in Baghdad. What about in Ray? We still get our hands on Ray. All right, now I'll go ahead and build that keep. Ray was our capital for a really long time after Dailam and Karen were uh, ununified. I hope do all of... Oh, I see the heir to everything. Yeah, Karen, Dailam, Khorasan, and Chistan. So he's got all the important ones. Okay, and he's part of my defensive pact. I would love to maybe just... Ah, but it's a really small one. Okay, so probably in the next episode I could take him out. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I'm going to take back Georgia in the next episode. Uh, and then after that, I will go take on 
um, those guys out east. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so I need to placate my spy master somehow. Or I can just give it to Anushirvan, who's already good at spy mastering and likes me, so that'll work. Okay. We'll just march our guys in here, defeat these Armenians once again. I wouldn't be surprised if we had to deal with a Armenian liberation revolt one day. Can we uh, revoke, or not revoke, usurp? Oh, okay, we can create the Duchy of Mesopotamia. That's great. I'll go ahead and give it over to you. Yeah, Satrapy of Mesopotamia. With the lower titles included. All right. <clears throat> So the two brothers will split Armenia amongst themselves. Okay, so the Armenians have been defeated once again. Excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and march our boys home. Uh, and then in the next episode, guys, we will go ahead and deal with the Georgians, I think. And the war they're dealing with with the Georgians is just for Tau. And that is, uh, of course it is. <sighs> All right, you know, I guess I could join him in that war, but uh, we can't beat the Byzantine. Uh, this stupid Emma Effer. All right, so in the next episode, uh, yeah, I will go ahead and press my claim for Georgia. Oh no, I can't. Okay. So he's part of a pretty broad defensive pact. All right. Well, he's on his own, and I guess I'm going to surrender that sphere of influence over to the Byzantines. Luckily, I, it's not crucial to our plans. I don't think we need any territory in Georgia to pull that off. Do we? Do we need Tau? No. All right. So we just need to finish getting Iraq. We need to get the rest of the territory in Persia itself. But okay, once we create the empire, that will be easier. So, all right, guys, in the next episode, I'm going to try my best to get some of that territory. <clears throat> oh, wait. Oh, perfect. All right. So I could easily get some of this territory away from him. Ooh, I can do a great conquest, you say. No, I can't. All right. Okay, I need more prestige before I can do that. All right, so in the next episode, guys, I guess I will do a holy war for Kabulistan. Yeah, because that'll give me three provinces, and I need four more to form Persia. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I'm going to take this one from the Bengals and take this from them, and then we should have everything we need, I think. Yeah, okay, easy peasy. Ah, but he's part of the defensive pact. Okay. Well, we might be able to take that real quick. But we'll see. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, we're quite threatening. All right, interesting. I have to deal with the defensive packs again. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.